Hi, I'm Dennis Lee and I'm the brand director of the Tales of series here at Bandai Namco Games and I'm here to uh, talk about Tales of Zisteria. So um, Tales of Zisteria takes place in a, um, a brand new uh, world, a world that's filled with dragons and knights and um, it has a very much more medieval feel to it and um, in this world there's a, uh, there's a legend and this legend is of a, um, a shepherd who will come down and he will basically come and save the world when it's falling into chaos. And so the game takes place uh, following the character Saray, and Saray lives in a, um, a mountain village, and um, he basically is, he's super adventurous, and he was really curious about all of the ruins, and he wants to explore the world um, that's out there, because he's never really left his village for as long as he's grown up. And so, um, with this legend um, of the shepherd, he ends up uh, going to this town called Lady Lake. And there he actually finds out that um, the shepherd, the legendary shepherd, is able to um, communicate with spirits. And he finds out that he's actually that person who is able to communicate with the spirits. And so um, it's up to him to become the shepherd and then to ensue to uh, save the world. What is it about JRPGs that make them so popular in the States, do you think, like the Tales of series? So what's great with uh, JRPGs is really kind of the characters and the story development. Um, there's always a really strong uh, story that's being told, and the characters um, are really what um, a lot of the fans and the players really love about the JRPGs. And so um, each of the characters, um, whether it's Saray or Alicia or Miklia, all the different characters that are in um, Tales of Zisteria, they all have their kind of unique story that uh, you follow as you go through this grand adventure. So uh, Tales of Zisteria is coming out in 2015 and it's coming out on the PlayStation 3.